Hey guys, uh, welcome to Louis Allotments. Uh, it's just a quick update on how I prepare my garlic. Um, now this, I've been doing this now for 20 odd years. I have 100% um, germination rate. And um, end of, well, beginning of October, I'm gonna start putting my garlic in. Um, I've got, I've saved 12 uh, solent uh, white um, garlics there so I've just been showing me splitting them up and I'll tell you a little bit about how I prepare them so uh, let's go and uh, have a look at the clip hello youtubers and welcome to We Allotments I'm just uh, starting to separate me um, my garlic here this is what I'll be growing next year well I'll be pulling out next year I'll start planting these around the the first week in October uh, you're probably wondering what's these in here. Well, this is garlic. I just broke a couple. I'm um, sorry about this knocking the camera. But um, that's your clover garlic there. Now, what I'm doing, you're probably wondering what the hell is he doing with the bag. Right. What I do, I put that back, that into this bag, and then seal the bag with air in. And uh, over about four to five days, maybe a little bit longer, you start getting roots start to poke out here they'll only be about two three milli but that gives me uh, the indication that each one of these um garlic are viable to use plus i get to check make sure there's no um disease on them so what i do like i say puff the bag up and leave them like that in the bag and what happens the moisture will will force them to to germinate and right on the very ends of the right on the where the where the uh, roots are going to appear is where you're going to get the little uh, root system and the, the, there'll only be about two three milli maybe four milli before I stick them in the ground then what I do is I use my thumb drop them in cover them over and that's how I get 100% germination rate uh, out of every one of them um, so I don't have to worry whether any of them are valuable, viable because I'd already know by looking at the roots which is going to form in this bag over the next week. I've done this for years and every time I get excellent results and these are some of the, the garlic I did, solid white. And I've got a pile more to, to, to do yet but I thought I'd show you this uh, quick video on how I prepare me, me garlic. So I've just got another another maybe week for them to germinate inside the the plastic bag. I'll come back and I'll show you exactly what I mean in about a week's time. And then we'll plant them straight in the ground then. Well guys, that's how I do my garlic. It's like I say, I split them up, stick them in a polythene bag, add a bit of um tiny just a smidgen of moisture into the bag which creates um, an atmosphere when the, the bag's sealed with the air trapped in it it creates an atmosphere and what it does it forces the garlic to put out um, its roots and what you're looking for is the roots are coming out in the very base of the garlic where I was showing you in the video it comes out three or four millimetre that's when I plant them I've had 100% um, germination rate um, doing it this way um, have you looked at the the updates with the garlic, uh, what I grew this year, it's a, I do the same method every year, you'll see the results, I mean the big garlic, I have some cracking garlic every year, I do this method, the, the reason why I do it this way is because I, I don't want to be faffing about with gaps, I, you know, putting more garlic in to, to, to make the gaps up, this way I'm 100% um, sure that I'm, the garlic's going to um, going to germinate and uh, I say I'll come back in a week's time and I'll show you the, the little roots in the, the bag and I'll show you how I plant them thumb in the ground, drop them in gently cover the soil over them and uh, within about between 7 to 10 days you'll start seeing results, you'll start seeing them uh, the shoots starting to appear between 2 and 3 inches by that stage or just starting to come right through the ground once that happens they're away uh, they'll grow again up till about the, about the 5th of December then they'll stop you won't get no growth again until around February but where there's no growth what that's doing is actually splitting the clover garlic um, that's where you get 
all your multiples of garlic you, you you know you get your segments it actually splits that garlic into segments and that's what you want and you need an hard frost for that to happen so that's why I always put mine in in, in October November um, I put them in a bit early this year because I want to pick them out so I can get another crop um, next year if you look back at the old the other videos where I've been where I did the garlic reveals uh, you'll see the garlic are absolutely fantastic and like I said I've done that for forever basically the way I do it um, but we will come back and I'll show you the, the the roots in the bag it's just like being in a mini greenhouse really um, oh the the um, competition still going for that scale so I said I was going to end it on the 20th of uh, this month September so you've got you've got another five six days to enter that competition get on that um, video where the, where the competition is I think it's the one with Alan Jackson the first first uh, video I did with him um, the question was how many chickens have got eight but just leave a comment anyone who leaves a comment on there I'll put them through to the competition and uh, you know and you've got a chance of winning a, a set of scales, uh, electronic scales. So uh, good luck with everybody with that. Um, like I said, I'll be posting that up probably Monday morning. Uh, I'll leave it running until Sunday evening and I'll stop the competition. Anyone after that is it's tough luck because it's been going for two weeks. I thought I'd leave it for two weeks. And um, yep, yeah, all you have to do is pick the winner. Just PM me your details on the uh, I'll registered post it straight to your address. Make sure you get it. Okie dokie. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to get home. I've got the builders in, they're doing my kitchen. The whole house is a mess. I decided to have the bathroom and the toilet done at the same time. That's even more fun. Um, so we're living out of boxes at the moment, so it's pretty difficult <laughs> to, to to do these videos. However, I managed to get this one up. Um, I, do, I have got to do, there's a review on some um, compost that I did. I did an experiment and there's um, the update on the wine I've not been able to do that update because I've, I've just I put it on one of my computers and that computer at the moment is uh, packed up and I, I can't get to the, um, the the videos on that but as soon as uh, I get to it I'll post the videos up and I'll let you see what's been going on I think the wine's going to be a sweet wine um, what I'm doing a sweet black uh, grape wine uh, so I'll keep you posted on that lot guys and um, just the very final thing I just want to say commiserations to Alan Jackson I think he knows where I'm going here <laughs> oh dear free one I don't know what's it like <laughs> hey, all we have to do now is uh, hope that city uh, go to sleep for a couple of weeks actually we've got two games um, to beat them and we'll beat top at league in no time <laughs> I don't know any old commiserations there Alan mate <laughs> you can see how really gutted I am for you <laughs> ok I'm going to leave it there uh, so thanks for watching YouTubers I'll see you all soon bye for now